Welcome to the Media Box, where I'm joined by Aisha Bura Kavala, whose uh, husband, Osman Kavala, is, of course, uh, still in prison in Turkey yeah, and has won the 2023 Vaslav Havel uh, Human Rights Prize. Um, what's your reaction to that? What does this prize mean to you and to your husband? It's, of course, a great honour for my husband. Uh, I mean, Havel's lifelong uh, work, uh, both as a politician and as a playwright, has been inspiring for us. And uh, I'm very happy that my husband uh, was given the prize. But it's, of course, sad that he he's not here to receive the prize, so that I, I had to represent him at the ceremony. And we heard you reading a, a letter uh, from him where he compared mm. um, his situation to that of, of Vaslav Havel. He was, I think, very clear that the situation in Turkey is not is different in many ways from the situation in, in Eastern Europe, uh, where Havel was was working. There is a difference, but still, his his belief in the possibility of of creating new forms of dialogue. Uh, to uh, dialogue among people, uh, among different uh, people with different political convictions and different ethnic identities to, uh, to sort of influence the course of political events in the direction of democracy and human rights. So this, this is the source of inspiration rather than a strict similarity between the, the circumstances of, of to two contexts. He doesn't give up hope. The husband doesn't give up hope and he maintains his moral strength and uh, he keeps he keeps waiting for the for the justice to prevail. Aisha Borokvala, thanks for speaking to us.